hey guys welcome back to my channel I definitely came on today to share some good news I went to an interview and I got an offer so I hopped on here because like girl that is awesome news and they pay better than what I'm getting now so pretty soon I'll be like Bye bye Walmart. Peace. It was cool. It was cool. <laughs> I'm about to see y'all when I come to shop for groceries, nigga. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, <clears throat> I haven't posted in forever. Let's let's just get that out there. <laughs> I haven't posted in forever, and. Your girl needs to start posting some stuff. I recorded a video maybe like a month ago or two months ago. And bruh, I still have not been able to edit and post that video. If y'all have any good suggestions for um, edit editing tools, please. Like something free preferably. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, something that I can use to edit my videos that's free and good enough. You know what I'm saying? Like. I can go ahead and make some good edits on that ish but yeah guys um I am here to say how y'all doing in the pandemic I hope y'all are still being safe these numbers keep climbing and then with the protests and um you know the the George Floyd thing happening and just like I feel like there are so many of these instances where because like somebody was asking me somebody of a different race was asking me like why is this such a big deal like why 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 are they protesting like why are they blocking the roads why are they burning stuff and honestly i'm just like it's just a straw that broke the camel's back like this has been going on for decades this has been going on for decades and maybe maybe i'm not even um in the right how do i say this i have not experienced a lot of racism where i'm from you know what i'm saying we have colorism though we do have colorism which i can speak on as well but um i have not experienced a lot of racism so i try my best not to really speak on it and they don't they don't teach they don't teach black history even where i'm from where it's predominantly black people we don't get taught um black history like okay we get the basic stuff like yeah we it's mowed over like yes we were enslaved blah 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 but like some stuff that i've been finding out um researching on and just like talking to other people about i definitely learned some stuff i had no idea about um, and so like this is just a straw that broke the camel's back in this country People get locked up for being black people get pulled over for being black people get killed for being black There the system is basically set up so that black people are always oppressed like They make these prisons so that black people can be locked up and apparently the prison system is a whole business like it's a whole business i don't even know how i got to this rant but hey why not um so everybody is just like fed up and they're burning shit they're burning shit and guess what sadly um this is this is the best results they've they've seen so far like People have definitely tried to be civil. People have definitely um, tried to be peaceful. They've tried to go, go the legal route with this stuff. But like, it seems that hostility is the only thing that works because now I see that um, they passed the Brianna law. They, um, they charged those cops. And um, just, it's the most results we've gotten in a, in a, in a small time frame. Like, it hasn't been that long since it happened, but because of the whole protest and because people are putting their foot down and because people are making their voices heard and because people are um, going out there on their platforms and saying what they believe in and people that are movie stars are, are popular, like the Kardashians, like um, Tyrese, you have 
just people that Will Smith, people that are like on a level that are speaking up and speaking out, making their voices heard. And, and the whole Black Lives Matter thing blew up so much that I even see white people. Just, I don't know if they're being genuine, but I hope they are. Just white people supporting, standing in front of um, black people in the protest. And, and I love to see it. I mean, I love to see it. I love to see it. I love to see that there is a change um, coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are some other stuff I can certainly talk about and get into but for the most part I am proud of what's happening I am glad that it, something happened um, so that people can be pushed to speak up and speak out and make their voices heard and so that changes can happen necessary changes like we're just asking for people to treat us just, just as normal people because we are it's not like when we were born, we're like, hmm, should I be Mexican? Should I be Asian? Should I be black? Should I be white? We didn't have that choice. And why does it even matter though? Like, why does, like racism to me is so ridiculous. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. And, and again, maybe because I was cultured differently. I'm from another country. I'm from Jamaica. Being black isn't, like, how stupid can you be to hate somebody for the color of their skin? That is ridiculous. You realize how ridiculous that is. Okay, yeah. Oh, we're afraid of black people. They're violent. They're blah, blah, blah. We were enslaved for centuries. And most of the time, it's like a family and then a, a whole plantation of black people. If we were violent, why didn't we... Anyways, uh, I could go on and on about this. I could go on and on about this. Um, but it's, it's a touchy topic, just like people don't like to talk about religion. People don't like to talk about politics. There are probably some things that I feel that another black person might not feel. And I might be saying something that's probably not even as accurate as I would like it to be. I don't have all the information. I'm still learning, like I said, about... Um, the things that happened, um, the oppression, things that people are still going through systematically because of the way they build that system to keep certain class or race oppressed. That's ridiculous. But anyways, guys, I just got on here to really touch on that, talk about um, my interview that I just came from, um... And yeah, share my good news. I got an offer. Um, it's more than I'm being paid right now. And it's a professional environment. Like it's an office. It's calm and you're sitting down. You're not running around for minimum wage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's definitely better than what I'm doing now. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take that offer. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the for the change. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what the job is about. Training will last a week. Um, it's business casual, so no more sneakers and cut off jeans like I wear at Walmart and t-shirts. I got a dress professional, apparently. Um, yeah, let me see if I can get quick don't don't mind how I'm busting out of these clothes but yeah pretty much pretty much your girl's excited and I'm thankful I am blessed and guys stay safe there is still a pandemic you still need to be extra uh, there still needs to be extra precautions you still need to be washing your hands and all of that stuff that still stands be safe guys love y'all take care bye